So I'm Dave from Next Thing Company uh, from Oakland, California, and we're here at Maker Fair because we built Auto, a hackable animated GIF camera. That's the first product based on the Raspberry Pi compute module. So out of the box, Auto can make animated GIFs, and it powers uh, pairs with your smartphone. And you can actually, as soon as you pop this crank, flip it over, and then rotate. You can shoot frames for a GIF. You rotate it backwards, and then it synchronizes it with your smartphone, and you can share it if you so choose. But what's really exciting about Auto is because it's powered by the Raspberry Pi Compute module, you can actually change all of the software that runs inside it. So what, what you can do there is actually log into the camera, run real code in Python or Node or whatever you want, and, and create completely crazy camera-based projects. And then because we figured out all of the challenges around the Pi, like battery power, shutdown, Wi-Fi connectivity, and put it in this package, you can take your projects with you. So we're showing this at Maker Fair because first and foremost, we're makers. Um, and if you look at the history of the auto project, it started off as laser cut plywood uh, with a regular Raspberry Pi in a box uh, and was made in the, like a, on the floor of Home Depot, right? And so it's really, really great for us to show people that you can start with something really, really simple and really huge. And then in literally 100 days time, we turn that into auto, which is a fully functional, tight design product. When people see auto and we tell them that it's a camera to make animated GIFs, they are either incredibly excited and are just like, shut up, take my money, I need it. Or they're really confused and they're like, why would you ever build a camera to take animated GIFs? And, and it's the people that get confused that we're actually most excited about because they're the ones that you have to explain, well, because you can change how auto works, auto is really anything that you imagine. And so it's really interesting once you start adding not just software but hardware to auto, you can do things that aren't even camera-like. So if you look at some of the photos we have uh, on, our, on our site, you can see a photo where the actual saturation in the image changes based on how loud it was when the image was captured. So this is something that seems kind of simple, but it's actually revealing this mystery that you lose with a regular image. There's sound in the picture that you can't see, but with, with a simple software changed auto, you can actually see the sound in an image. And it's these kind of sort of wacky experiments that we really want people to do and be able to carry around with them.